Whew. So I've decided to make some big changes in my life. It's time to get healthy. It's time to move. You see, you get out, you see pretty things like flowers. Look at those flowers behind you. They're gorgeous. That's enough for the day. My feet are kind of killing me. Uh, my shoes don't fit right, so uh, let's see what I can get. Here we go. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see what we got. That's what I'm talking about, sail. Where are the new balance? Oh my goodness. Those look good, but that is way too much. So it looks like 79 might be the choice here, huh? Let's try them on. Tight. They're all too small. <laughs> How far is it supposed to be? Because my toe's right there. That's like right on it. So it's you're supposed to have a finger length of room yeah. from the tip of the toe to the end of the shoe. Okay, so what do you think? And no. Um. I don't think so, huh? I never bought these kind of before. Under Armour. They're Twelve and a half. It's not gonna happen for me today. I really do want to get a new pair of tennis shoes, but I don't have a lot of time to be shopping today. So I'll go ahead and use what I got and I'll check online and maybe I'll find a good deal there. Oh boy, be strong, Eric. Salad, salad, salad. I'm gonna try one more place. There's a big five sporting goods that's only a block away from the other store. All right, come on, don't fail me. All right, let's see what we got. Man, I think these are the ones, but I am having a tough time today finding the right shoe. We got a winner. Successful. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it, perfect shoes. <laughs> well, that worked out pretty well. I actually started to give up and well, I should have because I got what I needed. The Southwest chicken salad. I promise it's grilled and it's salad. Here you go, my friend. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Yep, it's a salad. The hardest part about running consistently is just doing it. I find when I get up in the morning, if I don't just get a cup of coffee in me, wake up a little bit, throw those shoes on and go, I won't do it. I'll come up with an excuse. I'll get on the computer. I'll start looking at blogs. I'll start looking at camera stuff, trying to figure out what's going on. And then I look at the clock and I'm like, oh, I missed my run opportunity. I got to take a shower and go to work. So I'm trying to just get up, get some coffee in me, throw my shoes on and get out the door. And that's what I'm going to do right now. The new ones. All right, let's do this. I love running in the canyon because it's pretty. You get to see color, like these sage bushes right here, all purple, pretty, and it's green. Little <laughs> Poppies, so pretty. Way better than going to the gym and running on a treadmill. <sighs> All right, well, I made it to the end of the trail. <sighs> yes, I am sweating. <laughs> okay. That's it, ah, up the hill, always end strong. <laughs> that was run number four for the week. Worked good, worked really well. Lost a few pounds, feeling good. My new sneakers feel good, my new sneakers. My new tennis shoes, my running shoes, they feel great. Okay, see, sweat, yes. All right, man, time to get ready to go to work. So we're in ratings right now at the station, and during ratings, I edit Sweep's promos. And those promos are basically, they're little commercials, 15 second spots, to advertise, promote uh, a news story that's gonna air on 
whatever day of the week. Basically, take the video that they give me and we write a little promo and we promote the story. It's pretty simple, actually. It's only 15 seconds. So I didn't have really the video I felt that would sell the, the story really well. So I decided to go ahead and do what I like to call creepy Eric cam. <laughs> That's basically me acting uh, like, like I'm a creepy guy. I'm either, I'm either a child molester or a car stealer or a robber or whatever. I've done this for so many years it's not even funny. I have this really cool Sony RX100 Mark IV in for review, I got it from B&H, and uh, I have it for about 30 days. And I love this little camera because look at that, that's really cool. And I've been using it for my vlog, so I'm gonna kinda do a review on this camera as well. So what I decided to do is, let's go ahead and shoot with this camera. And it worked really well. Actually, I grabbed one of the photojournalists from the newsroom, uh, and he's a very talented guy. He's actually the investigative photojournalist. And I said, hey, look, let's just do some creepy Eric. I'm gonna, gonna walk around and you just get some shots of me. So, uh, well, hey, why don't I just show you the spot? Identity theft for cars, tonight at 11 on NBC7. It's definitely happening here in San Diego. How thieves are giving new ID numbers to stolen cars, and unsuspecting new owners are stuck with a bill. Tonight at 11 on NBC7. <laughs> Isn't this a great little camera? I'm kind of impressed by it. I wasn't sure about the price because it's about, about like a $900 camera. It's kind of crazy expensive. But holy cow, it's loaded. It's got so many features. It's nuts. I mean, look at these great features it has. A flip up screen. Has a really nice, nice, nice EVF. And man, I'm telling you, the EVF on this camera is crazy sharp crazy sharp really really nice but you know it's super compact does pretty much everything you would want I would have no problem actually taking this thing out on a vacation because that's it could easily replace a, a pretty nice camera something like the a6000 which is a really great camera or the a6300 which is what I'm shooting with right now I mean this could easily replace it on a, on a nice trip because you don't want to carry all those lenses and all that stuff. And that's a really compact camera too. But this is crazy, ridiculously compact. I mean, it has pretty much like everything. If you put it in to camera mode, I mean, you, it has built-in flash. It's got the EVF, it's got everything. Shoots 4K video. Let's talk about 4K video a little bit because the one thing that um, it's been kind of bugging me a lot with a lot of these new Sony cameras, like the a6300, like I said, I'm using that right now. 4K video has got Jello City, and this is no exception to that problem. It's not too bad if you shoot wide. And again, it's the same thing with the a6300. If you shoot wide with like the lens I'm using right now, this is the 10 to 18. I mean, this is a really wide lens. It goes all the way from there and then it goes all the way there. So that's really, really kind of an impressive range. And it's perfect for this camera, even though it's f4. But the optical image stabilization that it has built into it, as well as the, the range of 10 to 18, it's very good. Lightweight lens too. And it's great on, on a jib or little gimbals. Really, really cool. But anyway, I digress. Back to the RX100 Mark IV. This little camera is so powerful, it's just nuts. And again, I wouldn't hesitate taking this thing on a trip. Um, it is just so nice. Has a really great range lens on there. I think it's like a 24 to 70. Um, I'm still learning how to use it. I mean, I, like I said, I used it on that one promo shot and I, I wouldn't hesitate to use this camera on a pro shoot like that because I put filters all over it anyway so it's not a big deal but it's a fun little camera and you know the way I look at it too in my world I you know we all use GoPros or we use whatever even our cell phones I've used my iPhone 6 I've used an iPhone 5 on shoots before just to capture a little bit of promo shots it works fine nobody knows what you're shooting is more important really than the camera that you're using most of the time so just as long as you get some compelling or some interesting angles and stuff, you're good to go. I love the flip up screen because you can get with people and take a nice, you know, selfie shot with it. It's a ton of fun. It's just really, really cool. I do really dig, I dig this, this screen. I really, really like that. That's just a cool, cool thing to be able to have. Flip it up, you can take a picture of what you're looking at. <laughs> Which could be yourself, by the way. <laughs> One another cool feature, 
it has a built-in ND filter. You can put it on auto if you're in certain modes, but I tend, I, I've been using it in, in manual, and when in manual, I can turn it on or off, and it really makes a huge difference. You can actually open up that iris and get more you know, shallow depth of field for portrait type sh shots. It's really, really nice. For anything like vlogging, this is a really great camera. Th this thing is gonna be, you know, it's, I think this is one of those that's gonna be a very popular camera. Canon makes a really nice one too. People like to use. Uh, but I think that uh, the quality of this is just really crazy. And again, the continuous autofocus works really well in video mode as well. A couple of downsides with it. Um, it eats batteries and some of the other functions with like high frame rates, eh, not that great. Uh, I would stick to 120. 120 frames per second looks really, really good. Anything over that, it just starts getting kind of noisy and picture soft. It's not that great, but you know what? It's a tiny little camera. Again, it does a lot more than most cameras. And that's the thing about Sony is that they're not afraid to just give you these options, even though they maybe not all of them are really, really great. Leave it up to you, the user. It's available to you to use if you want to use it. And I think that's kind of cool. Instead of just saying, uh, it's not perfect. Um, that's okay. It's not perfect. Again, it's like, if you have an opportunity and you want to shoot 120 frames per second, you can, you can do it. Another thing I tested, which is really neat, is the panoramic mode. They, this thing stitches those images really, really well. Probably do a review. I don't know if I'm gonna do a full crazy review like I do on some other stuff, but I'm definitely gonna talk about it more. I'm gonna use it more for the vlogging like I'm doing now, which is something a little new to me as well. <laughs> and I think this little camera, it would be uh, a great asset for doing that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, well, hey, thanks for watching the vlog. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I'm doing these exclusively for YouTube, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So if you enjoy it, leave a comment, run with me, lose weight, keep me motivated, because that's a real big deal. I got to keep moving. And after I finish doing this shoot, I'm gonna go for a run, because I didn't go yesterday, I'm gonna do it today. So I'm Eric Naso, thanks for joining me. Again, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Somebody remind me why I'm doing this again? <sighs>